Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can create a recurring buy on gate.io with their time condition order feature. Essentially, a recurring buy will allow you to dollar cost average your positions. What this means is that you can create an order so that a particular coin is automatically bought after a certain time, regardless of price. This is great for someone who just wants to set and forget about their coin purchases. Now, in order to place these orders, you'll first need to have USDT in your account. Account. To learn more about funding your account, check out my gate.io playlist. Now, if you don't already have a gate.io account, I've got a sign up link that can help you save 30% on your trade fees. But having said that, let's get started. So, right now, I'm on the homepage of gate.io, and to get to the trade dashboard, I'm going to go over here to trade and hover over that, and then I'm going to click on standard. Normally, I would select professional because I like how it looks compared to standard, but for whatever reason, time condition orders don't work very very well on professional, but works just fine on standard at the time of recording this video. It's strange, but it is what it is. Perhaps in the future, they'll fix it. So when I click on it, it'll bring us to this trade dashboard here. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is select the coin that I'm interested in setting the recurring buy on. I will then go over here to this drop down menu or this arrow and then click on it. And I'm going to enter in the name of the coin that I'd like to purchase or rather the symbol. So for myself, I'm interested in SafePal or SFP. So SFP as an example and going to click on it and as you can see now we are on sfp slash usdt now one thing to note about gate.io is that they only have trade pairs against usdt they don't have trade pairs against any other stable coin now to place the recurring buy order i'm first going to click on time condition and when i do it'll change the input options now the first thing you'll need to do is enter your trigger interval in minutes right over here. What this means is that after how many minutes do you want to buy? Unfortunately, the maximum time interval is 720 minutes, which works out to be every 12 hours. This means that if you're looking to set up a daily or weekly buy order, for example, you're going to need to break those down into smaller orders. However, the beauty about gate.io though, is that you can buy as little as one USDT worth of coins coins for most coins. So let's just say I'm interested in buying every hour. So I'm going to enter in 60 over here. Next for the price, I'm going to select this and then select sell one. Now, the reason why I'm selecting this is because I'm interested in buying at market value, regardless of price. By selecting sell one, it'll essentially execute a market buy order for the sell one price on the order book that you would see over here. So this this is cell one. Now I'm going to enter in the amount of SFP that I'm interested in purchasing. Now I'm just going to enter in one for the purpose of this video. Now the last thing that we'll want to change is how long this time condition is valid for. So I'd like to have it valid for seven days as an example. So I'm going to select that. I'm happy with whatever I see over here. We have 60, one and seven. So I'm going to click on on the USDT to SFP button. So when I do, as you can see, it says it's a success and you can see that my time condition order has been placed. So essentially what I've just created was that every hour I'm going to purchase one SFP at market value regardless of the price and the recurring buy is for seven days. Now to cancel this, obviously I'm just going to press the cancel button over here. So that's pretty much how you can create a recurring buy on gate.io with their time condition. Now a few things I'd like to comment about with regards to their time condition order feature is that number one, after you place a time condition order, it'll execute immediately and not after the interval period. This means that your initial buy happens now and not after, in my example, one hour later. So as you can see over here, I have the one SFP that I had just made the purchase 
on because of this time condition order. So make sure that if you place one of these orders, just know that it'll automatically execute and will continue the next time on your trigger interval. The second is that you can only input the number of coins you'd like to purchase. You can't input a USDT amount for coins that you'd like to purchase. So in this example, I input one SFP, but I can't, for example, put five USDT worth of SFP. The last is that there are some advanced features. You can input the maximums for the number of coins that you'd like to purchase, the amount in USDT you'd like to purchase, and the maximum that you're willing to pay. Those are some other things that you may want to explore for yourself with these advanced options. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as I do check and respond. If you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video, please share it with them. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.